Hey guys, it's Jim from AMP, and I am about to show you how to write over a thousand highly personalized push notifications in just a few minutes with the AMP Composer. All right, so to get started, we're going to go under Campaigns, and we are going to click on Messages. And from Messages, we're going to create message. All right, so I'm going to call this one Who's Hungry. Uh, we're going to write an app, or sorry, we're going to write push notifications for a food delivery app. Uh, but the principles that we talk about here will work for virtually any type of app or e-commerce, retail, all that. So first we're gonna put a pretty standard heading. So we're gonna say, who's hungry for pizza? And we'll put a little pizza. All right, now that we have that in there, we're gonna say click here to get 30% off the most delicious pizza in town. Uh, I'm going to make this Nosh in town, and we'll talk about later why we did that later. I'll do a little point. Okay. So this is pretty standard. This is what you'd see in a food delivery app. It looks just like a food delivery app uh, notification, right? Who's hungry for pizza? Click here to get 30%. What you would do if you had a standard push notification delivery software is you would schedule a time and then just send this. So all of your users or majority of them would get this one single message. But this is where we are going to have some fun. So we'll take pizza. Pizza is our offering. It's the thing that we're selling. But we're food delivery, right? We have a lot more than pizza. We have, we have burritos. Let me put a little burrito in there. That looks suspiciously like a lettuce wrap. Uh, we have hamburgers. We have, maybe we have tacos. Who doesn't love a taco? That would be another good one. We have spaghetti. Okay, and then maybe it's lunchtime. So we'll throw some sandwiches in there. Okay. So another thing companies spend so much time and energy on is A-B testing their call to action. So we have click here. This is easy. We could say uh, tap here. We could say click now. We could say click me. We could say tap now. All right, we have a lot of options. Uh, we could say go into the app. That'd be another one. Okay to get 30% off, so let's play with that. 30% off is an incentive, right? It's why should you click and get this pizza? Well, because you can get 30% off. So let's add free delivery. We could say speedy delivery, whatever our incentives are here. Um, say curbside pickup. And I'm gonna add that on, you just leave it on, because uh, it makes our sentence make sense here. Okay. Most delicious. Let's look at that word, delicious. That's a value proposition. That is why this specific pizza, right? Some people are motivated by taste, so they want something delicious, scrumptious. That would be another one. Some people are motivated by uh, popularity. They want safety, so they want the most popular pizza, uh, most high, highly rated. Right, that'd be another one that's safety and security. Um, what's another one? Some people just want an adventure. So they want the unique. If I could spell while talking, that would be so great. Uh, but that's another example. So finally, let's play with this greeting. Who's hungry for? Um, that's a greeting, that's how, we're say, uh, that's how we're getting people's attention. So we can say, did someone say pizza? Uh, time for, or is it time for? These are all examples. Okay, so let's look at what we've done here. It's been about four minutes. We have generated 2,160 unique messages. And if you'd like to see what those messages look like, you can just scroll down, time for tacos, click here to get speedy delivery on the most highly rated nation in town. And then we have time for sandwiches. Did someone say pizza? Did someone say sandwiches? Time for hamburgers? You get it. So we have all these different messages now. They appeal to all different foods and all different buyer motivations. So let's capture some of that. This is this is where if you had a traditional system, you'd say, great, I have 2,160 messages. What on earth am I going to do? Because I can only send a small handful of them at once. So now let's go into labeling and show you how AMP can take that to the next level. Okay, so we're going to add some labels now to our message. So if we look at pizza, 
Uh, pizza is Italian food. So I'm gonna add a new label for Italian food. Burritos is Mexican food. Hamburgers are American food. We'll claim that one. Tacos, another Mexican food. Spaghetti, Italian food, you get the point. So we can go through and add these. Um, you could you could call these comfort food, you can call it lunch versus dinner, you can call it all these kind of things. What we've done here, it might not look like much, but what we've done here is we allowed our system to find commonalities between different things. So for example, if your user click likes spaghetti, so they click on their spaghetti notifications and they click on their pizza notifications, we have an idea that the user likes Italian food. Let's say every time we send, they do not click on tacos, even on Tuesdays, uh, or the burritos. Well, then we have an idea they don't like Mexican food. So by sending out these messages, we're actually learning about the user and their preferences, what they like, what they don't like. So if a new Mexican food place opens down the road, then we are going to send that, and we will know to send that to customers who like Mexican food. If this customer did not respond to any Mexican food notifications whatsoever, we know to not send it to them, which is equally as important because that means we won't have people unsubscribing from your app. We can do the same thing with the incentive. For example, curbside pickup is about convenience, right? As is speedy delivery. Uh, convenience, I want it now. Free delivery, even though we're still talking about delivery, points to value. 30% off points to value. So we can do things like this. Now we can understand what type of food that they're interested in. Maybe they're interested in multiple types. Maybe they're just not interested in one specific type. And we can understand if they are a convenience person or value driven, all that. So we can play with all of these. We can do it for all of these and, and understand different tones and different word choices and things like that to the point where we can get a very good idea of what motivates a particular user to click. So from here, you would add your deep link um, to somewhere in your app. You would, uh, and then you can approve it. You can set the basic things like when to start sending your messages and when they expire and how many messages you wanna get a person to receive per day and things like that. So this is how we generate and effectively use thousands of messages in minutes with AMP. Uh, if you want a demo or if you're interested or have questions, please reach out at hello at amp.com. It's A-A-M-P-E, just like it is in the logo in that top corner. Uh, or you can reach out to me directly at jim at amp.com, and I will be so happy to give you a demo. <laughs> Best of luck.